I proposed to Rebecca up north at Rice Lake in the boat, just us two, in the nice peaceful quietness of the wilderness where we were fishing. And she obviously said yes. We were both elated and excited. Andy proposed to me when we were on vacation in Rice Lake. Right away, he asked my dad for my hand in marriage right when we got up north and then we went right out on the boat to our spot, the honey hole, where we fished the year prior and then he couldn't wait any longer. He just got down on his knee and pulled out a big Hussar's jewelry box and I cut my mouth like this and said yes. <laughs> so, and then we celebrated all week long on our vacation. Extend their sincere thanks and appreciation to each and every one of us for gathering here on this amazing and perfect fall day. I knew Reb was the one because she's a best friend, ended up being my best friend, and we have so much in common. Not to sound cliche, but she keeps me in line, and you know I love her organization, the skills that she has, and all the work she put in for you know, in the wedding today. It's amazing, and I love her for everything she does for me. I love most about Andy that he is so passionate, like mostly about fishing, obviously, but that that is portrayed through his whole personality. You know, he's just very emotional and sensitive, and he makes me feel very happy. Rebecca, I choose you to be my wife. Because you are my 
very slowly. Very good. You stay forward. So listen to you. Encourage you and hope. We will be faithful to you. with you always. And we'll cherish you. Starting a family, which we already have, but um, going older together and helping each other out, just spending time together. Us two and our children. Anywhere you go, I'll follow you down. I'll follow you down, but not that far.
Scott for making this day possible and also for loving us so much and being the best friends in the world. <laughs> yes, I agree, you know. The only story I want to share is that when Annie and Rebecca met, I knew from the start that it was going to be a beautiful relationship. And there's one thing a father always is concerned about, and that is his little girl going to be taken care of and be worried free. And I never have to worry about my little girl ever because she's with Annie. I'm so happy. Back in good old Sheboygan, where Rebecca met Annie, at Pendleton, Rebecca and Annie were both in I remember her telling me about that night when she was bartending and Andy happened to meet some of his co-workers at the bar. Andy gave Rebecca a note with his phone number and a few nights later I remember sitting in Anna's living room with Benny, coaxing Rebecca into calling Andy. She was so nervous because not only did she not know anything about this guy, but he also had a cell phone at the time. <laughs> Rebecca did end up getting the courage to call him. They started hanging out, and as they say, the rest is history. Andy sure is one lucky guy. Not only did Rebecca finally get him to get a cell phone, <laughs> but more recently, she also gave him the greatest gift you can imagine, Michael. their beautiful daughter, Jasmine. Call Michael. The three of you are such a cute family, and as I said earlier, I'm truly honored to be part of your history. So with that said, let's all raise a glass. And toast to the happy girl. Rebecca and Andy, I love you guys, and I wish you a life for your happiness. Thank you. 